Blessings, blessings to you from Korea. This is a voice crying out in the wilderness. Uh, thank you for joining us again. This is Charlie's Gospel English course. Today we're going to look at two pillars of the gospel. We often ask a question, right? We often ask a question, what is the gospel? I often ask to live out the gospel in the church. You got to live, live out the gospel, gospel-oriented life which means embodying and practicing its teachings and principles in our daily lives. However, it is so sad that so many churchgoers do not have a clear understanding of what the gospel truly is. It would be total nonsense without having a clear concept, crystal clear concept of the gospel. It would be totally impossible to embody the teachings and the principles of the gospel without first knowing what the gospel means. What is the gospel? It would be more appropriate to ask who is the gospel because the gospel is all about Jesus Christ. This is, the gospel is all about what was prophesied about the coming of Jesus Christ and what Jesus Christ, uh, Jesus Christ accomplished at the cross and in his, in his life. There are two, roughly two major aspects of the gospel clearly demonstrated in today's passage. If you look at today's passage closely, there are two major aspects clearly demonstrated. First, confessing their sins, right? It was about forgiveness of our sins. And second, verse 8, I have baptized you, you with water, and he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. There, there are two pillars of the gospel that I want to talk about today. Uh, I want to focus on first, forgiveness of our sins. Why do Christians praise and worship Jesus at the cross? Why is it considered the climax of Jesus' ministry? A uh, lot of people, a lot of churchgoers are so numb to the cross. They look at the cross and there's nothing good uh, sensed in their hearts. Why is the cross the climax of Jesus' ministry? Why, is, why, do, we, uh, uh, why do we Christians, followers of Christ, worship and honor and then praise Jesus at the cross? At the cross... Uh, what is being manifested at the cross? Because it is the omnipotence of God Almighty poured out at the cross for our sins. Omnipotence must contain incompetence. So he who cannot be incompetent cannot be truly omnipotent. So you gotta be, you gotta be incompetent. The climax of omnipotence is incompetence. Uh, there can be clearly demonstrated at the cross the god's almightiness was fully poured upon sinners so that they could turn away from their sins jesus became totally incompetent so that his almightiness could be spent upon those who believe in his mighty name so we praise honor and treasure jesus at the cross because at the cross Jesus became incompetent, and that is the climax of the demonstration of his omnipotence. Jesus took, up, took on the burden of humanity's sin to bring about salvation for those who believe in him. If you look at 2 Corinthians 5.21, it is crystal clear that God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him, so God made God Almighty, His Son, to be incompetent. And His omnipotence was demonstrated in the form of incompetence. So God's omnipotence became clearly demonstrated as omnipotence in the form of incompetence. So that in Him, we may become the righteousness of God. The second aspect of the gospel is that he will baptize us with the Holy Spirit and fire. If you look at the same passage in the gospel, Matthew, you can see another word added to this passage. Matthew 3, 11, I baptize you, baptize you, John the Baptist, with fire, uh, with water for repentance, but after me, 
comes one who is more powerful than I, whose sandals I'm not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. This is the reason why Jesus was re resurrected. Two pillars of the gospel. The first is cross. Second is his resurrection. Jesus was risen. At the cross, Jesus became sin for us. So God's judgment upon sin, the humanity, uh, humanity sin, was poured on Jesus. So there is no judgment afterward for those who believe in Jesus. And Jesus was resurrected. Why? The sin issue was resolved at the cross, and Jesus was resurrected. So it is not about sin issue. Uh, the reason why Jesus was risen again uh, it's, not real, it's not directly related to the sin issue because sin issue was totally resolved at the cross and Jesus was resurrected. Jesus was risen. Sin was punished. Sin was the judgment upon sin was resolved at the cross and Jesus was resurrected. For what? And this is the reason why Jesus was resurrected at the cross by the death of Jesus Christ. The de judgment for our sins was imputed to Jesus. However, this beautiful story of gospel does not end there. It goes further. Jesus was resurrected so that his followers could be filled with the Spirit and fire. So here, sin was here at the center of man. Sin was there. But sin was... Uh, the sin problem was resolved at the cross and sin was gone and is empty so jesus was resurrected so that you will be filled by the holy spirit and fire the fire was an essential aspect of god's holy temple in the old testament without the pillar of god's holy fire the tabernacle would have been merely a structure made of wood so for the temple to be a temple there should be the what should be the fire holy fire of god so here, Christian sanctification is not the, it's the Holy Spirit-filled sanctification. It's not about just you know, human efforts oriented. The holiness uh, presented by many other religions, but Christianity, they are all centered around human efforts. By adding more efforts, they become more like a Buddha, better beings every day. But Christian sanctification is not human efforts oriented sanctification. It is Holy Spirit filled sanctification. It is not that we become better beings by our own efforts. We, of course, we do take efforts. We do exert our efforts to be holy. But our efforts are not trying to be a better beings, but our efforts trying to be united with the Holy Spirit. It is God who works in us so that we become ruled by his divine fire. So it is all about being united with God in real, in reality. It is all about persistently being submissive to the beauty of the cross through which he clearly demonstrated his love for us. He became incompetent so that we can be filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen?